it will be a dispute if Haitians are living lawfully. Hello. Oh, sorry about that, ma'am. Sorry. Welcome to Freedom March. You're live. Can I speak to Mr. Rodney Monkoblin? Yeah, go ahead. Now, turn your radio down for us, please. Yes, but before you say anything, I want you to know that my chest is hurting. So be kind as you speak to me. You have pain in your chest? My spiritual advisor. Go ahead, woman. Oh, uh, Yes, my dear. The private. Yes, my dear. Uh, I'm going to let you know that your name is Pastor Fraser. Oh, Lord. You know the Fraser Pastor? No, I didn't know. Is she who's on my eastern boundary? Okay. Oh, yes, Lord. Give the family my sympathies. I'll see them in the morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Francis. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Welcome to Freedom Marsh Call. You're live. Good afternoon, special advisor. I'm Mr. Lunka. Yes, good afternoon. How are you? All is well. I just want to chime in. Um, I know the special advisor said that based on last night, person shouldn't be seen in terms of prayer. But there is a, there is such a thing as corporate prayer. Um, you have persons in church praying over the masses. You have persons out abroad. Back in the day, we had roadside church. So I don't see where last night would have been offensive in terms of people just wanting to be seen. There are countries in the state where I think last night was necessary. Yes, persons are praying in their homes, in their cars, for themselves. But I think the country needs to come together as a mass and pray. Man should not be saying praying, you think, special advisor. Yeah, the, I, I read a passage. I read a passage from the book of Matthew, um, chapter 6. I think it's verse 23 to 25, if I'm not mistaken. And I was just, ex uh -huh. I was just explaining. Uh -huh. um, where Jesus was outlined and he was trying to remove the hypocrisy out of Judaism and how, you know, the religious leaders of those days, their motive and how they prayed and how they always wanted to be seen and their lengthy prayers and all that, you know, Indeed. it's just describing that. And I, 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 I looked at last night, I said, hey, you know, there's, there's a place for it. Um, I didn't condemn it. I'm just, I'm just saying that we need to just look at the motive. Why are we praying? Because uh, okay. when we look at what Jesus says, he tells you how to pray, where you are to pray, and he's removing the hypocrisy. You don't do it so that you can get the glory from man. That was my point about um, the prayer I read, the passage I read today from the book of Matthew 26, 23 to 25. All right. Okay, agreed. Now, not to, I'm not attacking you. Just I understand that. Point I understand that. So what I'm saying is that I'm agreeing with you that there has to be a motive, or we need to discover what the motive is. Absolutely. But once, once we recognize, we don't. I don't even think we need to recognize what the motive is. Last night we listened. We already know as a country what state we are in. Right. I'm saying that last night was most necessary. Disregard whatever people may have to say about the Christian Council last night was most necessary based on what state our country is in. That's 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 that's, that's all I want. Okay. To show, sir. And I respect that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, three two three seven 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 five is the number call. Welcome to Freedom House. Call your life. Yes. Good afternoon, Church Advisor. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Leader. Yes, ma'am. Um, Lita, I don't know if you remember back in the 70s, you should remember, but I don't think Mr. Rule will remember. We had two groups then, Mr. Cadet and uh, two at band. Yes. We used to practice in that area. Yes. Now, you remember, even though we had a lot of prayers, I believe in prayers, but we still had to go and get an African man from away. You remember that something got away? I, I do. I do recall okay. when, Go back and look for when, African, when the, an ex-African man to yes. come to visit here again. Yeah. That was back in the seventies. I know you will remember that. I do remember. It was practicing a little obia, a little voodoo, yes. and that was when Mr. Pratt allowed 
yes. that evil spirit to escape and, and, had a lot of spiritual people in those and shake the coconut have. tree. Down in yeah. Collins Avenue? Yeah. Oh, yes. I remember, I remember I that. I really need to get yeah. the next person to come back here to try and do that operation again. You're like suggesting the that the, the Christian councils should allow a practicing Obia person? Come now, woman. No, it wasn't Obia. They said that the spirit got away. <laughs> um, as your leader, <laughs> I want you to listen to me. You are the oh, flee okay. from right. the devil. Okay? I don't want to talk about it. Maybe tomorrow okay. I will discuss that devil that the yeah. Campbell family yeah. was in control of. Okay? okay. Remember that? Uh, but okay. I do I do remember and I call upon you to flee from that, okay? <laughs> okay? Oh boy. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, welcome. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Listen, as as your leader, Jesus, we, we can't do this over again. We, we are going to the All right, and if you're not pleased with the Christian Council, <laughs> you can't bring in the OB man. All right, caller, I am sorry. Uh, welcome to Freedom March, caller. You like? So, yeah, we're yeah. doing well. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I didn't want to laugh. That's right. So. What a something, man? <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, what a time. What, what exactly, a time. What a time, what a time. But what I want to chime in with, I think the Christian Council should, should um, be more more active in this country. The, last night, um, you know, as they said that they hosted, the Christian Council hosted it, but the Christian Council needs to be more active, needs to be seen, needs to be heard. In this country, because the Bible says the government shall be upon his shoulders. Yes. It look like it's the other way around. You wow. know, so, you know, they need, to, they need to do some more. Yes. And then also, they need to take those type of services to the ghetto, man, where these things happen, and to the park, the different parks, Iron Bailey, Mount Heights, Bean Town, you know, all of the different parks. People need to come downtown, um, 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 those guys. And those gangs and all of that, because you know they 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 afraid of the, the police and all yeah, that. But Right, but in all fairness to the Christian Council, if you if you read the newspapers and interview, they did say that's what they're gonna do. They okay, they, they so say it's a, it starts I there. I it to a prominent um, bishop a few nights ago before they had the service, and he told me that he was going to suggest that. So let's hold their feet to the fire right. and see <clears throat> what they're gonna do. Again, I say the scripture said the government should be upon his shoulder. Jesus, yeah. Like Jesus' shoulder. Around. Okay. You know, but right, yeah, but again, you can hear some things when you're listening. listening. Yeah, for the month of, yes. yeah, your neighbor passed away, man, and I want to say good afternoon to the, my mother-in-law, Esther. This pastor, McKinney, New Riverside. Hey, how you doing, Pastor? Thank you for <laughs> the information. Yes, sir. You have a blessed afternoon. Hi, right, sir. Sure. Right. Yeah, Thank take you. care. Okay, bye-bye. 323 Welcome to Freedom March. Call your life. Good afternoon. Welcome to Freedom March. Is, is your radio down? Do you have your radio turned now? Sorry. Turn your radio down, please. And just listen to us. Um, go ahead. Is it down? On the man up. Yeah. So, thank God for life. They need more of that prayer to not talk. Okay. They need more of that. Because they are normal. Me and normal in the Bahamas, we don't know my dad, we don't know who they are, we don't know who they are. Yes. That's the thing. You think they it's you think it's demon. And they are free that over. You think it's demon. For man some in the country, man, married and man, woman married and woman. That's a demon one to them. Okay. That's all I get to. Yes, thank, thank you, you so for your much. Comments. Three two three seven 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 five is the number called six nine eight zero seven seven. Are we there? Welcome to Freedom March call your life. Can Mr. Monk give me his his phone number, please. His yes, ma'am. I want to talk to him off the air. 801. 801. 5797. No, 5. 5, five, seven, five seven, six, zero. 
Thank you very much. 801195. No, 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 no. Take your time. Take your time. 801. Yes. 57. 5760. Oh, 5760. Yes. Okay. 801 5760. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my dear. Okay, dear. All right. Welcome to Freedom Mars Call. You're live. Okay, let's get out, you know? <coughs> Ezekiel, Ezekiel right. is a Excuse D. Me. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, them light yet? No, sir. Okay, I, I'm going to have another talk with him, okay? Okay, I'll have a talk with him. Okay. Yes. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, I know that thou art Job. Thank you. <coughs> Any more calls? Welcome to Freedom Marsh Call. You're live. Hi. Good afternoon, Special Advisor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Edmund. How are you, sir? Listen, I am fine. Praise the Lord. How are you? I am doing wonderful. Um, Mr. Edmund, Special Advisor, I just want to commend the Christian Council last evening. I attended the prayer session. Yes. Okay. And I say in the show of bipartisanship, they sat the the opposition next to the prime minister. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, the head of basically every denomination were they were present last evening at the service. Yes. Okay. And um, it was what was needed, special advisor, because everything must start from the head. Yes. That's why they started in the square. If the head is not right, then the body will never function properly. This is true. So that's the reason why they start it started there in the square. I spoke to the president of the Christian Council, Bishop Delton Fernando, personally, who assured us that they will go into the communities where the crimes are being committed, where, the, where we have the social problems, where we have the persons that need the healing, that they would reach out and, and try to get as many churches involved. What we need the churches to do now is to come together. There are no big U's or no small eyes but band together because crime is everybody's problem. Yes. It affects everybody. Yes. From the top <clears throat> to the least. Absolutely. You've lived in this country long enough to see a cabinet minister murdered. You've, minis you've lived in this country long enough to see a small man murdered. So it tells us that crime affects everybody. Yes. And so we have to come together, spiritual advisor, Senator Manka, and we must fight this evil together. We right. have to do it together. I if support we, you. If, if we are not united, we will always have this problem. It is not a governmental problem. It is not a you problem. It is not an I problem. It is our problem. Wow. Right? And, and let me leave. I just wanted to say that. Right. You're and, doing a marvelous job, Senator Munter, Special Advisor. Okay. I commend you all for the commentary that you all share daily. Thank, Thank you. you so much. God bless you. All right. You're welcome. All right. Take care. Well, oh, welcome to Freedom March, caller. Okay, okay, we only got a minute and a half before we really? get to 5.30. Really? It's just, oh, no, no, 5.30. Yeah, 5.30, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So we another half hour. Yeah, well, I observed <clears throat> in the paper this morning where the leader of the opposition was extremely critical to the commissioner of police. And um, perhaps the leader of the opposition should request a meeting with the commissioner of police to iron out the concerns of the leader, um, I'm certain that the leader expects the Commissioner of Police to carry out the law. And um, I understand it. We sometimes, those of us who still support the FNM, we are not pleased every time when, you know, the police may have to call us in. But the reality of the matter is Michael Johnson. An F and M, though he be, he's entitled.
for the protection of the law. I think I'll talk about it when I return. This is Freedom Match. My name is Rodney Monka. My neighbor is in a shocking Delcina Fraser. She's dead. Ah oh boy, what a wonderful neighbor I have. I'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Fit a Match. My name is Rodney Monka. Bradley Roll is my spiritual advisor. And we shall continue for the next half an hour to keep the lines open. And we invite members of the public to call us. Um, I've had some of my neighbors who call to inform me that my dearest neighbor, retired nurse, Delcina Fraser, she passed away this morning. For many, many years, she worked at the Sandlands Rehabilitation Center. She was one of the greatest nurses that they have had there. And of course, she continued to live in the Black Village community. And so I'm receiving report that there is a buzz of activity taking place in Black Village after news circulated this afternoon that she had passed away. So okay. I want to extend my deepest sympathies to um, the late nurse Delcina Fraser. Her oldest sister is still alive. Uh, Mrs. Natalie Griffin, who is the paternal grandmother of Senator Barry Griffin. Yeah, I think I have it right. So, in my community is a strong line of Griffins living right there on my eastern boundary. So, I have to say, um, my deepest sympathies, my spiritual advisor. Welcome to Freedom Marsh Caller. You on the air? Yes, good day, spiritual advisor. Good day. I'm good day, Senator Monka. Sir. Spiritual advisor, you're a great man of the scriptures, but at times, sometimes I think you, you stray just a little bit too far. You know, in terms of when you said that the Christ didn't want all his grace, Jesus Christ, didn't want um, the, the, the people to pray to him to boast. He was basically speaking about his individual person, like the rich man and the poor man in the church, when the rich man said, look what I give you, look what I've given you, and all of that, and the poor man just gave. And he, then, he was asked, which one of these you think would be blessed? Now, he also said, Wherever two or three of you are gathered in my name, I am there also. So it doesn't really matter the venue, you know. It's the purpose for which you are gathering at that venue. He, it was also said by the Pharisees, I think, or the scribes to him, why are you hanging out with these rejects and prostitutes and vagabonds. And he said to them, why should I hang up with those that are saved? I came here to save people, not to hang up. Uh, uh, Carla, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I understand your point, because you, you, you're running all over the place. I mean... <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't... Uh, what you may think, Richard, uh, that... Jesus or he was a church coach. Okay, church so, okay. No. Uh, okay, fine. Let me ask a question. You, you call the scriptures now, where two or three are gathered my name. That had anything to do with prayer? You yes. Did you yes, check the context? Yes, no, sir. No, sir. Name. The context was not prayer, sir. In my name. Yeah, but that was not dealing with prayer. What was it dealing with? Um, we'll discuss it off the air. Call me, man. 814-6096. You know, I will call you. Yeah, call me. Call you, but yeah. also remember yeah. now. The Christ preached from the mountain tops, from the seashore, from the boat side, all over. He never really settled down in a synagogue, you know. He preached from everywhere. Okay. So don't, don't call me later. Call, yeah, call me later. Susan. Call me later. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Carla. <sighs> uh, welcome to Freedom Watch, Carla. You're live. Hey, yes, sir. How you doing? What's happening, brother? My God. So. Greetings, now. That, that gentleman just pumping into something else, spiritual advisor. When he said, where two or three are gathered together, here is, he is in the midst.
this, so that means if I in my house praying by myself, he hear with me. But I ask him, was the context prayer? No, I know, I know. I go know, back, I you, go back and check the context, and, the context, and see what it was dealing with. No, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Now, number two, don't let Mister Munker side crack you, please. He talking about, but, 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 but Mister Neil Ellis is his grace. He need to say his grace to see what you see what happened in my table. He need to say his grace. Talk, but he is a grace. He all kind of mix up. Yeah, there's some problems there. Yeah, yeah, but he's talking with his grace. He needs to say grace to try to get some people back. You know what I'm saying? So let, let's start. see these people then, and then the next thing I can go on there. You get these people not talking about these state church. If that's your church and I go in there, I don't supposed to pay no offering and no tithes and stuff. You're supposed to pay all your bills yourself because that's your church. Ain't nobody tell me no bills in my house. I pay my bills myself. Now, if that's your church, you pay your life, you want to be anything yourself. So don't look for no tithes and offerings from me. Okay, Carlo. And if you want to give the church to your son and you retire, or your daughter and you retire, that's between you, them, and God. But don't look for me to give you nothing. Thank you so much. God bless. 323-7775 is the number to call. 698-0775 and 698-0776. We're in, we in trouble. Welcome to Freedom March. Call your life. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. How are you, ma'am? I'm wonderful. Uh, if I miss one, how are you doing? We're doing fine. Okay. Thank I you. I want to check, you know, bring some of your attention, okay? I was trying to get in and have a door pass. Oh, hmm? you know when the force pass that promotion. Is it? Okay. Yes, when the force pass I its sent, promotion. I had a neighbor. Being on the fourth of a twelve year. Now listen now. He took the promotion F twice. He took it. And the last time he took it was sixty persons took the exam the same time him. He came seven in his class. Seven. And you know people was um, the leads was promoted to him like 18, 19, 20. Really? Really? Promoted. You must he came seven in the class. Call me tomorrow. No, he wasn't promoted. Call me tomorrow. Uh, he still so distraught the manga. Call me about it tomorrow and I will send a note to the minister so that he can investigate that. Yes, Miss On. Because that's so wrong. He came seven. Yeah. Seven to Mr. Monka. Or oh, the 60. Or oh, the 60. He came seven. And he ain't got no promotion. No promotion. He been on the court 12 years, Mr. Monka. Yeah. You know that's that's bad, Mr. Monka. Um, yeah, I think I agree with you. Send me the complaint and I will take it up with the minister, okay? Okay, Mr. Monka. He, he certainly sounds like a well-deserving police officer. No, and no, defense force. Oh, so this is the defense force? Defense force. He came seven. Really? Seven, Mr. Monka. Sixteen persons took the exam. Seven. 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 Quickly send that to me because Mr. Munro loves to promote defense force people. Yeah, uh, you know, I think Mr. Monka does really, you know, when he told yeah. me that, that really touched my heart. Send it to me. I, I'm going to not only send it to the minister, I'm going to send it to the commodore, Dr. Right. Raymond King. He came seven or the six Oh, no. You can tell me all my, all his colleagues who come, Same. 18, 19, 20. Send it to me. Yes, yes. We got you. We, we got you. Uh, listen, got I'm you. sympathetic to what you're saying. Please send it to me tomorrow, and I'll make sure that the minister of national security receives it, and I will also make sure that Commodore Dr. Raymond King also receives it. I'm going to stand up with the small man and tell the politician, tell me the correct answer. Okay? You do well, my love. Welcome to, sorry, welcome to Freedom March, caller. Good afternoon to both of you. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, Mr. Monko, on behalf of one of your members, uh, one of the women then, 
they asked me to call you. Yes. And they want, would like for you to wish them a uh, happy birthday. I'd be honored to do so. And her birthday is today, and she is 79. Really? Her name is Milo Gray. Milo Gray? Milo Gray, yes. Milo Gray. Yeah, she want to request something of you, sir. I don't know if you can. Well, but let me hear it. Is that you sing happy birthday to her. She is watching you as you speak. Milo, so raise your heart and Ma sing happy birthday Milo to Gray, her. Milo Gray, she I, will be very much grateful. I'm going to sing for you as your leader. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. I know who you are. This is powerful. Very good, sir. Thank you. You, you are a very good leader, and she is well pleased. I'm happy to hear that. Tell her right, I you. enjoy leading her. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to Freedom March. Call you live. Hello, call you there. Three two three seven 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 five. Hello. Yes, call you live. Good afternoon, Mr. Yeah. Spiritual Advisor, Mr. Monko. So, Good afternoon. Yes, I want to chime in. I want to give my contribution to this to help to see if we could turn this place around. Yes, okay. yes. So take all of us mm -hmm. and uh, my echo. Yes. Oh, sorry. We lost We're we sorry about that, caller. Hey. Call. Yeah, go ahead. Uh -huh. Welcome to Freedom March, caller. Hey, what's happening? Welcome to Freedom March. Yeah, let me explain to you what I was saying. When <laughs> Jesus left to, uh, to go to his father, and the people was out, the disciples was asking, well, 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 how we can pray or who we can pray to? That was when he told them, until I return, whenever two or three of you are gathered together, I am there. And to the quarter that said, well, if I go in the room and pray for myself, he also taught us how to pray. He said, don't be like the vagabonds and the, and, and the, the freaks on the corner shouting out loud, like what I was saying with the church. But you go into the room and you get on your knees and you pray. And he will cover you that way as well. Thank you. God bless you. you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. We're making it up as we go. Making it up as we My go. My spiritual advice. Welcome to Freedom Marsh, caller. You're live. You're live, caller. Go ahead. Um, yes, good afternoon, Mr. Bunker and Mr. Spiritual Advisor. Good so, afternoon, how are you? Yeah, I say I commend the Prime Minister yes. on the initiative along with the head of the Christian Council, along with the body of baptized believers who yes. on Bay Street and did such a wonderful thing as praying. Yes. But one thing what I believe we need to do now, every church corner, and I, I, I say every, in this Bahamas, they're selling rum. They're selling rum? People, uh, they are selling liquor. The Chinese are selling liquor. They're selling these bad smoking stuff. They're well, selling well you, have the, you have to complain to the commissioner, please, because um, it's the police who's giving the, the Chinese all the liquor grove. store. Like somebody said, we need to get the grove. You go in the grove on each corner. I don't know who issuing all these, like, list of, uh, what you call it, liquor license. They're selling this bad um, BD and all this stuff, messing up these young people's head. And on top of that, you go through, you go on Robinson Road, the Chinese selling all kinds of aristocrats and all this. Yeah, I've been doing the study in. I bought your high float, yeah? Okay. It's full of our country destroying our young people because they're socially po uh, 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 socialized. They're poorly socialized. They don't go to church. So what they do, they break in the church. Every church you go to got a bar house and all this, man. Yes. And all you go, I'm complaining because I'm hurt. I'm a pastor. They broke in my church for five times. And listen here, every other time you had $5,000, $20,000 worth of instrument, you can't tell them like that. So no matter we pray, we got to get to the root of uh, this, we got to get to the root of the problem. These people, these businessmen who come in here and bring in all this stuff in our country, go on Robinson Road, from R.M. Bailey straight to Blue Hill Road, liquor store outside, owned by Chinese. We don't matter as far as those, this fellas dying out. Only die out from the rum and the bad smoke. Okay, the BD is killing them out. We need to start up in this country and fight for our country. More than just a prayer. The church was ever praying. The church didn't stop. I thank you. I thank you, Pastor, for your comment. Okay, I'm sorry I had to sound so loud, but I, I you know, I This is powerful. 
keep standing up. Hold phone calls for a few seconds, please. My spiritual advisor on the island of Bimini is an alarming story coming out in which apparently the dope, the marijuana, if I am correct, or is it Grand Bahama? It's where, a two-year-old child? Yes. I think it's Bimini. It's Bimini? Yeah. I did say Bimini? You did say Bimini, yeah. Yeah. Um, something is fundamentally wrong that... Marijuana candy. That marijuana, I continue to warn the government that we should not legalize this dangerous marijuana dope. How the heck an infant can be caught up in a situation where the infant is able to have access to, what, what was it, my spiritual advisor? So, marijuana candy, I think. Marijuana candy. I mean, it's disgusting. And that came to my mind after the pastor called and complained about beaties. Be be beaties. It's a Chinese drug that we have allowed to manifest here in the Bahamas. It's male sterilization, actually. And it's male sterilization. Um, I call on Bahamians as we fight crime to realize that a part of our problem in the midst of the crime is dope. Don't ignore it. See, you can afford to ignore it. Our people, our young men, they're smoking dope, they're mixing their marijuana with all kind of other drugs. But nobody wants to deal with the issue. And if we do not deal with the issue, the legalization of marijuana is going to take place and you're going to find that there are fifth, six, possibly, possibly seven and eight columnists sitting in the country waiting to exploit the opportunity which will further destroy our country. Can you imagine in Bimini? And that is what is going on in our society. All kind of baby children them taking dope. All kind of teenagers taking dope. Dope cake, cake. Dope, 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 dope. So let us not forget that. And if the Christian Council, when they go back to pray, it is my hope and prayer that they will raise the issue and call on God to change the hearts of the government not to legalize marijuana drugs. And that would be powerful. You may open the line if you wish. Yeah, 323 7775 is the number to call, 6980775. Welcome to Freedom March, call your life. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Monica. Sir. Yeah, this ain't nothing to change the thing, but you say you really hang in this country. My prayers and things with no weight, you think it's dead, it's dead. I agree with you. Yeah, and especially why these are the privileged people. Let us stop complaining about that, this and that, and this and that, and this and that. We need hanging in this country. Hanging. Yep. Nothing to change until. Capital punishment. Not coming back again, but you know. The leaders and everything. Turn to God and think. Obey. I'm with you. You have my support, and it is based on scriptures. Yes. Yeah, you're a good citizen. Yes. Go by the ways of God. The ways of God, and then what God said, it's written, it's come to pass, and there's not doing it, and it's not going to change. We need hanging, and nothing's going to change. Don't care how much prayer, 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 prayer without work is there. Certainly, you're speaking truth. Do well, cowboy. All right. All right. For the lady who called about the World Health Defense Force promotion, I understand that the qualifying exam is only one consideration. The, the promotion board also considers how many sick days the person had for the last three years. You also have to pass the physical. And there are other considerations um, in the matrix of the promotion. So there may be some other things that may have caused them not to be promoted. I'm just saying. Anyhow, welcome to Freedom Marsh Call Your Life. I'm going to start the down first place, Carl. Yes, welcome. welcome. I listen to your show every day. This is powerful. This is very, very powerful. I just want to be young man, 32. Okay. I have to believe, I can be truly honest. I don't believe in hanging, but we need it. Okay. Okay. We need it. Why do you think we need hanging? Why, why do you think we need hanging? There is no fear. There is no fear. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. are so yeah. correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very serious, young man. It's very serious. Yes. 
I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you are 32 and you are expressing man's position. Amen. Yep. There no, is they no don't. fear. Yeah, they don't care. God bless you, eh? Be safe. Welcome yeah. to Freedom Marsh, call you li <clears throat> your life. <clears throat> yeah. Good afternoon. Oh, turn your radio down first, please. Turn your radio down. Just listen to us, okay? Okay, are you there, caller? Yes, sir. Okay, you're live. Go ahead. I would like to ask Mr. Manka for his personal number, please. Yes, my number is 801. 801. 5760. 801-5760. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. We've got about three minutes. Welcome to Freedom Marsh. Call you live. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We're fine. How are you doing? Yes, yes. Okay, the only time he was out there when he had COVID-19. Wow. Okay. The only time. What about the physical exam? He, and I told you, he came seven, seven. That's what he came. Listen, I'm with you. Remember what I told you. You send me the complaint. I should yes. make sure that Monroe, the Minister of National Security, gets it. And the Commodore of the Defense Force. I believe you. I'm convinced. Okay. Uh, you, 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 uh, you are a kind of woman who will support a good man. I like women like you. Yes. So with, okay. with, the, qualify, with the qualifying exam, w where did he place? He Ms. placed seven at the Okay, now listen to me. Hold on. Listen, there's a problem. Listen to me. What is the problem? There's also a physical exam that you have to pass. I'm not talking about the written exam. Yes, yes, yes. Pass that too. Okay, okay. Pass too. Right. He's very, very bright, my spiritual advice. Very, very smart. Yeah. He don't believe in staying home. He okay. told me the only time he's out because he has the nine is, is, is he physically fit? Would you say switch your life? Is he physically fit? Yes. Yes. Come on, as a switch your life. Fit. Fit. I'm telling you, Mr. Woman, as your leader, I'm convinced. Do you just send me the information and make sure that the minister gets it and the commodore. It's a good man you have there. Okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. Three two three seven 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 five. Welcome welcome to Freedom Marsh Call You Live. Good afternoon, Senator and Bradley Will. Good Sir. afternoon. Um Bradley, um um the, the Privy Council did did let us um we can hang. But then we need to tell them what is our way to the worst. Now Papa put it down, the only way to be hanging you is to kill a police officer. Do you do you remember, remember that? I don't. Um, I remember something. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> That's what Papa said? Yeah. Papa said, only time we'll hang you if you kill a law and civil officer, the people said, you tell us what you want us to do. Guide us. Or what is your words in the way? So Papa, on the books, only time we'll hang you if you kill a police officer. But that need to change. So, to be wow. the guide, because of what is our words in the way? If you, are, if you do first degree attempted murder, you'll be hanged. If you do two murders, you're behind. We need a guy there. What is our? They said, you tell us. What is worse to the worst? Okay. Worse the worst. Okay. Uh, and then, I, I, I wanted to, uh, 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 Senator, is Terrence Bastia still on the job? If who? Terrence Bastia, the auditor. Um, the, uh, Listen, he is so busy what? just auditing and calculating and tracking down things. He things. audited 15 million dollars with the drones. That could have buy three or four who who put, who, who, who hold on a second now who put this drone around here and I know nothing about that I don't know who where 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 are they this can't be this can't be before who put this drone around here I'm talking I'm talking about a police drone only cost twenty thousand who put this in who put this in I'm under the old administration man my first advice is stop that's just the middle I gotta be a joker that's just the middle I gotta be in the public judgment because we need you cannot police a twenty twenty four without without helicopter in the air at night time. Okay. I'm going to have to talk. 
to Terence Bastian because I need to know where those drones are uh, as well. I wonder where the money was spent. Yeah. Fifteen million dollars worth of drones only cost forty thousand dollars. We're gonna look uh, into that. Google to the rest of police force uh, um, drones. They can't put everything that was going. They have police drones. They take. We should investigate it. We will listen. We will investigate it, and yeah, even if it means we have to ask Dr. Hubert Minnis. We got a go caller. Sorry okay, that. take it, Gail. Anyhow, we are the end of the show, Sandra. Well, That's my it. spiritual advisor, um, you have you have stirred a haunted nest. Yep. In your they call me spiritual they call, they think I'm controversial, anal but boy, analysis. They, they don't know. Anyhow, it is what it is. Listen, folks, do well. My spiritual advisor. Until tomorrow. If it's God's will. If it's the Lord's will. Folks, be safe, okay? Continue to pray. And everything is going to be fine. Pray without ceasing. God save the common one of the Bahamas. Do not change the hearts of the evil ones. God save the king. Let there be pray, peace and let the church roll on. Forward march, everybody. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Munker, his guests, and callers on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2020. All rights are reserved. Freedom March is powered by BTC.